<laughs> Did you think there was a filter on? Yeah. <laughs> no filter. I was just Although that ready could for have it. been a filter I was just, just in getting itself. Ready for it. <laughs> so we're on our way to Archerfield. And we were meant to leave a little bit earlier, but we um, got a bit waylaid. Oh. And uh, we are on our way now. It's all right, we have our spot. <laughs> because getting in it some days is a bit hectic. Yes. not too far away from kicking off our second last show of the season and our second last show ever. He's seen it all happen here at Brisbane's Archfield Speedway. Here's young Benny Atkinson, number 86. She is one of the crowd's favourites, Trev. She's just being pushed away on the far side. Is there any Libby Ellis fans in the house? As the 73 comes to life. Plenty of them in the front straight, I can tell you right now, Trev. And uh, once again, she uh, has got plenty of merch for sale. <laughs> she keeps pushing that on the uh, on the YouTube every day. Yes, Libby, one of the uh, greatest uh, self-promoted stories on YouTube. Does a fantastic job. And, of course, uh, her husband-to-be running tonight as well, Macca. So it could be an interesting conversation over the dinner table tomorrow morning, but uh, I notice that uh, the Hammer Man just rolling through turn three over there has got uh, one of the, uh, looks like one of the old mixed sour wings on it, or they've picked up no, sponsor, sponsorship sponsor from, from uh, Pottsville Self. Oh, there we go. The Pottsville Pirate himself. Pottsville Self Storage. These days. Yep. Good to see Mick jumping on board and helping out the Hammer Man. Absolutely. MJ Friders, of course, as well, on the 72 machine around Queensland. As guys and girls make their way off the racetrack, and this is yeah, where it gets well, I, I very busy in the pits, Trevor. I was Betts. about to say that's going to be like Queen Street on a Friday night. That ain't going to happen. There'll be uh, there'll be cars told to uh, circulate around again because the traffic jam in there will be horrendous. So, not sure what's going on with the Aaron Kelly machine. They're still over there looking at. Uh, looking at that and having a chat to the driver inside the cockpit. Trying to go and find out for us. In fact, I've got a funny feeling that Aaron might even have his helmet off. I'll go and have a find... I'll go and have a... But do some investigative uh, reporting for us there, big fella. You know. Is this the brain 
Brian's Trust. Brian's Trust. Yeah. <laughs> How was your hot laps? Good. How was yours? Yeah, not too bad. What'd you do? I don't know. Why not? Well, I went round and round. Oh, that's all. <laughs> no, it's good. Same thing, just brrr, a little bit. So oh, okay. That's fine. So you're gonna do a gear change or anything? Or no, no, no. We'll just drive it out. Okay. Yep. See if I can flip it. Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Pottsville Self Storage Denco 72 there of Anthony the Hammerman Van der Ryden. Pro Libby Ellis, the Australian weighing equipment m and car carriers, number 73 machine. to go out for our first heat we're off the back somewhere so we'll see how we go uh, Heather's handed out at all our flags it was 505 or 506 flags so she's handed all those out to all the kids and stuff so hopefully they come down and we can sign some little flags for all the kids and that so looking forward to see how many actually come back for signatures all right we'll see how we go in the first heat uh, chat to you later number 85 of Jason Ray the number 20 of Ronnie Hendrickson, the Pottsville Self Storage 72 of Anthony the Hammerman van der Ryden, and of course Australian Weighing Equipment, Badua Creek Sources and Rubs, m and Car Carriers number 73 machine of Libby Ellis. Heat one for the development series. Anthony the Hammerman van der Ryden gets the jump on the field. Second at the moment is Harry Dixon as they sort themselves out through turn one and two for the first time. DeMars has got a good run on the back of Noah Ball, but just can't make the pass on the way into three. Dixon under fire at the moment from Craig Hyde. Jason Anthony van der Ryden is driving off into the distance. Harry Dixon now has got a couple of car lengths over Hyde. Jason Ray, Miolo and uh, DeMars are about to run nose to tail. Set to fly this time by. Down to you, Petsy. Anthony van der Ryden gets the green and gets away from the pack. Dixon's got a good gap over Hyde at the moment. Jason Ray a little taily on the way into turn one. Dixon this time hasn't let van der Ryden get away as much as he did at the first start. And uh, Dixon keeping van der Ryden honest at the moment. Hyde's dropped back a little bit. And still a gap back to Jason Ray who was uh, on the tail tank of the 84 there for a little while. Carlo Miolo looking to try and take the fight to Ray. But Ray gets a great run. Off turn two, leaves Miolo behind and closes right up to the tail tank of uh, the 84 machine of Hyde. Luke Mantan gets it all wrong down in turn four, almost takes Clarendon Blair out as he comes back on the racetrack. Hendrickson travelling slowly, got a bit of damage on that front wing where he caught the back of Jared DeMars. And meanwhile, Van der Ryde continues to lead heat number one for the Petzio Development Series and doing... A good job and just driving away from Dixon at the moment. Meanwhile, Mantan gets past Hendrickson, puts him at the back of the pack. Van der Ryden takes the win comfortably in heat number one. Harry Dixon will get second in the Ascot Demolition Machine. Craig Hyde, then it's Jason Ray, Carlo Miolo, Noah Ball, Libby Ellis, Thomas Clarendon, Blair, Luke Mantan and Ron Hendrickson will round out the field. Well, they call him the Hammer Man, and if you see him in the pits, you'll know why. Anthony Van Der Ryden, your race winner. 
Give him a big round of applause, Brisbane, as he comes down onto the concrete. Sea View Honey, Insane Automotive Towing, Denco, Pottsville Self Storage coming on board for the Hammerman for the last few races of the season here at Brisbane. As uh, Anthony gets the helmet off. Well, buddy, it has been a long while between drinks. Welcome back to Victory Lane. It certainly has been. Oh, I heard Libby go past. I think she's pretty excited. So, um, yeah, I'd just like to thank Mark Friders with his um, painting business, getting on board and helping us out. Denko, obviously, they've been a long-time supporter. And just everyone that helps us. It's, it's really good, and it's great to be back in the seat. So, you know, we're going to be back full-time next year. Car look good out there, but the, the track at the moment, how's that standing up? Oh, no, track's good. Like I say, I don't care, man, where they're slick, they're rough. You just drive to what's there and, you know, you're man enough, get up top and let it rip. Absolutely. Well done, buddy. All right, thank you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so you won a heat race. Uh, cooking, how is the track? We're cooking noodles. You're cooking noodles? Yeah. She's pushed all the water out again. Oh, okay, so you won a heat race, mate. Yeah, no, oh, no, it's really good. But... Yeah, yeah. I'm... Yeah, thank safe. you. Yeah. Goddamn, we got that hot rod going. Did you see that thing? Yeah. That was wide open. Yeah. Woo <laughs> All right, now you can tell us what's wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I thought, I didn't know what you were doing. So, um, yeah, it's pushing water out again. Uh -huh. All right, we'll work on that. Doing it the other way around. Doing it, the, doing a swapsy. That's good, bud. Good to see Demars and the Josh Fort team getting uh, the number 40 machine back after that tangle with the concrete up there in turn number four. Libby Ellis still waiting to be fired in the Australian weighing number 73 machine. Hey, mate, I just want to say, just on a personal note, the last eight seasons here at Brisbane's Archfield Speedway, thank you. You've made every moment an absolute pleasure, brother. No, mate, it's been fun. I've got to say, I uh, wasn't sure what was going to happen the first night, but we've gone on in leaps and bounds ever since then, yeah. and the eight, eight years has been great. Here comes this screaming old bloke from Maribor. No, no, mate, that wasn't it. It's been fantastic. It's been great. They will start this way. The number 20 machine of uh, Hendrickson will lead them away with the 86 of Mantan to share the front row. The Q40 of Noah Ball will start out of three. The 73 of Libby Ellis will start out of four. The 45 of Craig Hyde and rounding them out, the 72 of Anthony Van Der And that will be the way they start, Trev, in heat race number two. Ten, Carlo Miolo beside Libby in row number two. As we go green, ten laps remain. Clarendon Blair gets the jump on Mantan. Ellis settles into third. Miolo's back to fourth. Jason Ray's moved up. Here comes Dan Mose. The Pro One Race Parts number 60 machine. Hammer. Whatever's wrong with the uh, 86 machine is a little bit more than just knocking it out of gear. It is on the infield. Back to green we go. Clarendon Blair leads the field away. Mose tries to go round the outside of Jason Ray. Ray gets on the gas and hangs on to fourth spot. Dan Mose, oh, Clarendon Blair. Oh, Libby's into the side and up and over for Libby Ellis. Nowhere for her to go. Craig Hyde spins the 84. I'm not sure if that was trying to avoid that incident or whether he had his own problem at the back. But Clarendon Blair got sideways. Libby Ellis nowhere to go into the side of the 45. And up and over for the little YouTube sensation. Just watching the replay for Speedway Australia TV and TCB gets it all crossed up. Libby, as you say, Trev, absolutely nowhere to go. Heidi spins out in sympathy. But that wing that's been on that car for so long, I think, has finally come to a horrible death. That'll be the last time we see the, uh, the old wing on the NQ73. Yeah, she's Cactus. Heidi will get refired. Libby will go to the infield. Oh, we'll see. Well, well she's turning not. left. Maybe not. Clarendon Blair looks like he's going to end the night on the forks. She's going to refire, you know. She Trey. is. Yes. <laughs> I was just going to say, she stopped behind the forklift. So yeah, uh, the, guru, the gurus checked the car out, said, Lib, you're good to go. 
The top wing won't work, but that doesn't matter. That's all right. Points, points, points. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there you go, Brisbane. Come on, put your hands together for Libby Ellis. She's going to refire the 73. Never say die. It's not looking. It's not looking too pretty, Trev. No, but as long as it gets to the end, Libby won't mind. She's got eight laps to run. Lights are out, Trev. We're set to fire. Single file past well, the cone. Looks like a wingless at the moment, and we get a wing. It's not a new one, but we get a wing. <laughs> and we'll have a look at the old one. <clears throat> it's sad. <laughs> that one will not be rectified. That will not buff out. <laughs> That's not a buffer. <laughs> All right, turn this. Whoa! Almost dropped it. All right, we're all good. See, the hit's still on. We're able to restart. Man, was it a pig to drive for the rest of the race? Anyway, all good. We made it to the end, so we still get our points. And they're just changing everything now. So, you go, boys. <laughs> We can buff it out. <laughs> no, we, we, we've got we've got plans for them anyway. <laughs> anyway, how did you go? All right, it's just I'm still battling with the water. Yeah. It's just pure water out all the time, so yeah. had the same in the first heat. Had the same then, so. All right, we'll keep tuning it up. All righty, good all luck. Right. Petzio, final out on the racetrack as Libby Ellis gets pushed away in the NQ73 with a brand new wing on the top of that car. The Gould Real Estate XL installs number 40. Of no, I love working with this man. I tell you, Ron Henriksen in the number 20 machine, just rolling through the top there. Anthony Van der Ryden in the 72. Dan Mose in the heat race winner from earlier on tonight. Carlo Miola doing a beautiful job. Fantastic. I think Sam. I think Sam was more excited than Carlo. Yes, yeah, Sam was very, very excited. I can't wait to catch up with him later down in the pits. There'll be pasta all round at the Miola house. Absolutely. Just waiting for the rest of the starters to roll on by. Anthony Van Ryden, Jason Ray in the 85 machine. Craig Hyde in the 84. And that looks like all we've got left for the Petsio series, Trev. So, there we go. It's a full house in the B main. So, Ronnie Hendrickson out for this. Top two from the Petsio series will go to the back of tonight's B main. Petio Pet Foods. Big thank you to Andrew Bomper and his company, Petio Pet Foods. As I said, fresh, fast, beautiful pet food delivered straight to your door from Petio Pet Foods. Tell you what, there's Find some big names coming web. out of the B Main. Oh, yeah. Mm, especially on the front row. So they are setting up here at Brisbane. The lights go out on the Boss Hog Steakhouse, little Citroen. My bet the real deal is probably one of them. Uh, the real deal is on the front row on the outside. Anthony Van Der Eyden looking to put a victory in the bank. Been a long time between Trevor Pets, the Petsio series down to you. The final for tonight. Carlo Miolo and Anthony Van Der Eyden on the front row. Bit of a jump there from the hammer man. Miolo a little bit slow on the uptake, but we stay green though. I knew that. This will be interesting. Bragging rights from the fiancés on the second row, Trev. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There'll be no ladies first, I can tell you right now. Absolutely not. Anthony will be straight down the inside of Jason Ray. Or try to. So, a little bit short on the outside, Macca. 
plenty of cars on the inside, right? Jason Ray, Miolo on the front row. Much better start that time. Jason Ray! Van der Ryden almost threw it away on the way into turn one. Is trophy. All right, we finished. I don't know when I come, probably last, but anyway. <laughs> After that tumble before. I don't know when Anthony came, but anyway, we'll put it all up shortly.